and we are back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Bella. I am a part-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, and eBay. So if you watched my last video, we went to a new Goodwill Benz in Marion, Ohio, and it just opened up on November 1st. So we, mom and I went there and I was planning on doing a thrift haul on the stuff we picked up from the bins on Saturday, which by the way, if you are a veteran, thank you so much for your service. My father was a veteran, so I definitely appreciate that holiday. He served in the army. Thank you so much for your service. As I was saying, we were, I was planning on doing a video for the stuff that I got from the Goodwill bins, but my mom is sick. If you are new here, my mom helps me out. So her and I do everything together and we went together to the bins, but she is not feeling well today. So I would rather not do that thrift haul without her. So instead my son gave me some clothes and my daughter-in-law and my daughter-in-law is a shopaholic. And so is my son. They love to go shopping and they have a, I don't even think it made a dent in their closet, but they gave me four bags full of clothing. So I figured today we would do that instead because I haven't went, I have four huge garbage bags. So I haven't went through those, these garbage bags yet. And I thought it would be fun to go ahead and do the thrift haul of the stuff that he gave me. We'll do one bag. We're going to do one bag at a time. But next Tuesday, I will do the haul on the Goodwill Ben stuff. It's probably going to have to be two videos because we ended up spending, we did two separate transactions. One was 88 and I think the other one was like 44 and change. So we've got clothing and a bunch of um, home goods, which a lot of it was vintage from the 80s. So I'm really excited. I did pull them up and certain things are worth, you know, 20, 30 bucks. So I'm excited to show you guys that, but we're going to do that next Tuesday. But for today, we are going to start with the clothing that my daughter-in-law and my son gave me. So thank you guys. And I'm ready. Let's check it out. I haven't went through the bags yet, so I'll be as surprised as you are. Okay, we're starting with a jean jacket. And I have a Gap denim size medium. And most of this clothes is going to be mediums and smalls. Because my daughter-in-law is tiny. It's in really good condition. It doesn't even look like she ever wore it. I like that. So I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. I had Saturday off. That's why I went to the Benz. And I rarely get Saturdays off. So I was super excited. That Goodwill Benz is a lot smaller. I will link that video down below. I did kind of like it better though because I felt like it was a little bit more laid back. It wasn't as crowded as the one in Columbus. So I have a Zara Basic Outerwear. This is a puffer jacket. It also has the little hoodie. There's a bunch of cute little zippers. I just want to make sure you guys can see that. The camera's set up a little bit different because I'm doing it by myself. Normally my mom helps me, so bear with me. Oh, I love this color. This is like a wine burgundy. New York Company, size medium. This actually feels like it's like a velvet. zipper like halfway through the back. Beautiful, beautiful. A new day water resistant. This looks like a rain jacket. I love the back of that. Can you see that? It has like these little pleats. Another burgundy. Under Armour Extra Large. Just a half zip sweater. Oh, that has a little snag. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to list this one or not. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Ta-da! Sorry, actually. 
I actually got a comment on the baby talk that I do when I when I do the um I go to the Goodwills or I go to the outlets I love to play around anyone that knows me like and like actually knows me in person knows that I joke around a lot you know life's so serious and I just don't like to be serious all the time but I guess it offended someone so I do apologize if it offends anyone it's not meant to be offensive in any way I just I like to kid around I like to have fun I feel like life is short and Life is serious, we all deal with problems, we all deal with bills, so I just like to go out there and just have a good time. So maybe sometimes I, the inner kid comes out a little too much, I don't know, but I apologize if anyone gets offended by it, but I'm gonna be me. So if, if you don't like it, then I totally respect if you stop watching or if you unsubscribe, I 100% respect it, but I'm gonna be me. I'm not gonna change for anyone. I am who I am. Like I said, if you know me in person, you know that I'm a goofball and I love to kid around. So we have a North Face size medium. And if you enjoy watching my videos and you stick around, thank you. I'm here to have fun. If you learn something, then yeah, that's wonderful. I hope that along the way, you know, I buy cheap, I sell cheap. So I hope you do learn something, but at the same time, I'm also, you know, I'm here to have fun. Got like three things out. So we have some Michael Kors Long Johns. Oh, these are perfect for this weather here. As you could tell, I'm wearing a beanie. I am in Ohio and we've got fall weather. During the day, it's not too bad. It's actually sun's out. It doesn't feel so bad, but in the evening, it gets a little bit cold. So I just got out of work. So I just, I had my hair it was actually up in a ponytail, but I just kind of let the ponytail down. And it's, oh, I like that. It's a uh, Animaniacs. My son's gonna be proud of me if I got that right. Yep, Animaniacs. That's cute. Yeah, so I'm originally from Florida. And then I moved up here. I moved up here, moved back to Florida, moved back up here several times. But I love Ohio. I love it. First time I came to Ohio, it was um, in October. And we were driving through this little town and the leaves were kind of, the trees were kind of overlapping each other down this little tiny town. And it looked like a puzzle. Like I had never experienced fall. And I just, I fell in love and I had never experienced snow and I just love it here. You know, we have Amish people, which I had never seen those. I used to live in this little town called Le Rue. And in the morning you would hear the clink, 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 clink. It was just the cutest. Like, I absolutely love it. I love it here. Florida is my first love, but Ohio is my true love. So this is called Man. I don't know what that says. Boho Man Size Small. So I'm gonna have to ask him about this brand because I've actually never heard of the brand Man. But like I said, they are shopaholics. We have a Steelers sweater. What's that? in Ohio and I don't watch football but I knew do you know that is it no it's Michigan it's Michigan and Ohio that are like the rivals I did learn that right away after I moved here that Ohio State football is a big thing here this looks like it's called Thule size large little pea coat. It's a heavy coat. That's really pretty. Really pretty. I love the buttons on that. See that? I think that button needs, actually these buttons are going to need tightened. Or maybe they're meant to be that way. I'm not sure. They feel kind of loose. I don't know. 
We have a beanie. I don't know what that is though. It's got all kinds of, I don't know what that is. Hmm. I don't know. Hold on, this one's inside out. So yes, next Tuesday I will do the thrift haul of the Goodwill bins over in Marion. Like I said, we had fun, but mom's not feeling well. What is this? I feel like that's the Lulu lemon tag. No, it's not. It says number two. I see it now. Mom's not feeling well. And also mom um, has surgery on Thursday. So if we can Send mom some prayers and some positive energy that everything goes well. They found a tumor, two tumors actually. One leg has one tumor, the other leg has the other tumor. So she's going to have surgery on both of those this Thursday. So I will try to still do the thrifting therapy Thursday like I do every Thursday. Because I think she's going to be in surgery for a couple hours. So I will go out and about and find one nearby. If I don't and I'm not able to, then I apologize, but at least you guys know why. Old Navy, this is almost like a rayon polyester hoodie. I don't know if I have the camera too close. Like I said, it's my first time doing it by myself. Beverly Hills Polo. This is just a, not flannel, a, uh, oh my God, what am I trying to say? Thermal. Like a thermal Henley. Got a lot of nice clothes. Thank you. There's another man. I love this color. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know that brand. If you've heard of this brand, let me know. I'm going to ask him anyway. But it's like a racer back. I have never heard of the brand man. What is this? Oh, this is cute. Stand back. Can you guys see that? It is so cute. I love that. Oh, <laughs> I was like, so it's Finn Bala, Bowler, Bowler, Finn Bowler. WWE, don't know if you guys watch wrestling, but I am a boy mom. I have three sons and we do watch. Well, I haven't watched it lately because I've been really busy, but when my kids were at home, we used to watch basketball and wrestling. That was our two big sports. So they are going to the basketball game in Cleveland the day before Thanksgiving which they had invited me to go, but I work for the post office, so I didn't really think I'd be able to have that Wednesday off. I didn't even ask, because I know that they'd probably say no anyway, so. But I think it's um, the Cavs and Miami Heat plan. Access. Now, I don't know why he's got all this clothes inside out. I don't know if that's how he washes it. But I feel like every piece is inside out for some reason. Just a, almost like a dressy sweater. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. I feel like I'm too close. Holy cow, there's a bunch of stuff. I still have three more bags. I get a lot of new stuff. 
but I list, um, so at first I list on Poshmark and then I use list perfectly. And then I list from, I'm sorry, not Poshmark. I list on Facebook marketplace and then I use list perfectly to pull it from Facebook onto, um, eBay. I'm sorry. I'm getting a text and I'm trying to read it. Sorry about that. So I, I list it on Facebook and then from there I use list perfectly to put it on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. So I do put everything on all four platforms, but I just have to remember because for some reason list perfectly doesn't delete, like it's supposed to pull them out when they sell, but it doesn't always do it. So I have to make sure that, that I do remember to pull when something sells to pull it off of the other listings because I have been in situations where I'm looking for something and I'm like, oh my God, why can't I find it? And then I go back look on another platform and it has sold on the other platform, but list perfectly did not remove it from the other platforms. So if you use another listing service, let me know, let me know what you use. And, and, um, I have to check prices. I think I pay $24.99 for list perfectly. And I do like it cause I'm able, like it'll transfer everything really well, but I just don't like that. It doesn't always pull it out. So that kind of puts me in a bind sometimes. So this is just a basic jerseys. It looks like it's uh, something Virginia. I don't know what that says. But almost like a lime, I'm gonna say fluorescent green. Yeah, so if you use another platform, let me know. Um, I did hear about, what was the other one I heard was called? Um, there was List Perfectly. Gosh, I can't think of the name of the other one, but that one was a little bit more expensive. That's the reason I didn't do it. So Full Metal Alchemist, hopefully I said that right. Looks like a lot of these shirts came from Hot Topic. I know they love to shop there and they love to shop at lunch. Is it box lunch? I always want to call it lunch box. Box lunch. Here's another one of these man shirts. I don't know what this is. It must be something because he's got a whole bunch of them. There's another racer back. Little muscle shirt. So yeah, and then I think I'm in Facebook jail because I um, I was in Facebook jail before because I listed a book. The book was called Finding Alaska or Searching Alaska or something like that. And I didn't know that that book had been banned. So I listed it and they told me I couldn't do it. I don't know the name of this one. It's just a sleeveless um, polyester shirt. So I listed it. And they told me that it went against their regulations. And I didn't understand why, because it was just a book. So I sent in a re review request. And then like all of a sudden, like my account froze. Like I wasn't selling anything. I was like, nothing was happening. So then that happened. I learned my lesson. I don't sell any books on there anymore because I don't know which books are banned and which books aren't banned. I do know certain things not to list on there but i listed a it was a black push-up victoria's secret ball bra and it was a push-up bra so i took and i will post a picture of i took a picture of the back of the bra the inside of the bra where it would show the padding because it was like a double like a double wonder bra type push-up bra so i took a picture of the the back of the actual padding and then also the front of the bra, but I kind of focused on like one cup and I took a picture of the back of a cup. Well, they sent me a thing saying that it went against their regulations. I'm like thinking, okay, it's just the bra. Like what's wrong with the bra? I list bras all the time. So I sent in a review. They sent me a picture back of that particular picture. They sent me that picture back and it was like just the, the cup padding. And it was like, it was nudity, something, something. And then now I went from like 3,000 views to now I'm like 490. So yeah, 
just to let you know, be careful. I do love Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is my favorite one. I sell most of my stuff on there, but they are so picky. So picky and it drives me bananas. Seth Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah, they are so, I don't like that. I know I can't list Tommy Hilfiger on there. I can't do any Michael Kors. I can't sell, like I have a Michael Kors purse that I wanted to sell and I know for a fact it's actually a Michael Kors purse because it was mine, but they won't let me list that. So they always knock it off. We have an American Eagle next level stretch. So it's gotta be a small size because it is my daughter-in-law's. Um, looks like it's a size five. So I really don't sell a whole lot of jeans. I usually hold on to these for a while. Or I'll send them to somebody or give them away. Jeans are, I don't like, I will list jeans. If I don't have anything else to list, I will list jeans, but I don't like listing jeans, especially women's jeans. I feel like women are so picky and I'm a woman too, so I know I am picky. But I think that women's sizes, there are so many different sizes versus like, you know, men are lucky. They just have small, medium, large, and extra large and 3X. And we have like plus, petite, juniors, regular, I'm like <laughs> misses. I'm like, oh my God, I can't keep up. So Tommy Hilfiger, this will not go on Marketplace, but that is so cute. I love this. I would definitely throw this on Poshmark. I do have a lot of luck selling Hilfiger on Poshmark. Like I said, if you have it, do not put it on Marketplace. I do like selling on Marketplace. Like I said, I do sell a lot of stuff on Marketplace. I do lots of porch pickups. I just set it outside. I don't normally meet people outside because I'm always busy, but I will set it out. There's another man racer back this one has the little logo on the back that's cute i don't know what this brand is though personal record you know i'm thinking so i'm thinking knowing my son it's probably like a youtuber's brand that's what i'm thinking because they work out a lot he has his whole garage set up as a gym So leggings, another tiny size. I don't have, I never, let me know if you have luck, but I don't have luck with small clothes. Like my um, medium men's clothes, I will, I can sell it locally on, on Marketplace, I can sell it. People will come locally to pick up a lot of the small and medium men's stuff. But for some reason online, I don't have luck selling it. I don't know what this is. So we're gonna, I have no idea. See, he's got everything inside out for some reason. I don't know why. We've got a V-neck sweater. Ugh, got the sleeve inside. Yeah, so I try not to pick up small sizes. I do have a lot of small sizes because my son and my daughter-in-law give me a lot of clothes. This isn't the first time they've given me clothes. But we went to, he's re, um, remodeling his restroom, his bathroom. 32 cool. Little polo. So we went to help him do that like two weekends ago and they went down to their basement and they come up like 30 minutes later and he's like, here mom, hands me four bags of clothes, which I'm not complaining. I will always take free clothes. And if you're a reseller, you know, just let your friends and family know that you're reselling and a lot of times they'd rather give it to you than to donate it. And this is really, really stained. So this we're going to put in the trash. What brand was that anyway? So 
by Nation Large. But that's got a really bad stain on it, so that's going to the garbage. American Eagle. This is heavy. This is perfect for fall weather. Like I said, they didn't even put a dent in their closet. That's really cute. It's almost like a flannel, size medium. USMC. Looks like it's just a basic. Oh no, is that something on there? I don't know what that says. Huh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see it? Do you see it? We've got a stitch size extra small. Tokyo. They watch a lot of anime, as you can tell. But I do really, really well selling. Because like I said, he's given me a lot of clothes in the past. And when I list it, I do have a lot of luck selling their clothes. I think it's because my daughter-in-law's, most of hers are like characters. Disney related and stuff like that. And then... My sons are usually anime. So that usually sells pretty quick. Even though they're smaller sizes. What is this? Dragon Ball Z. Now that's the only one I know. I work for the post office and I, um, He's not currently my customer, but he used to be my customer. And so he would sell anime stuff. And man, like, especially during Christmas time, like he would fill up my whole post office truck. You know, the little square post office truck. He would fill that whole thing up with anime toys that he was shipping out for Christmas. Oh, One Punch. I only know this one because I've bought in my son's stuff for Christmas from One Punch. And then we have a beanie, and this is the last of it. We have a beanie. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, it was, it was um, kind of weird because I'm used to my mom being here. So, but my mommy is upstairs resting. I got her, I went and got her some soup and stuff. She is not feeling well. And um, she has surgery on Thursday, so if you guys can send her some prayers and some love, I'd appreciate it. And if you are new, thank you for watching and sticking around. If you're not new, thank you, thank you for sticking around and listening to all my goofiness. And hopefully you have fun with the videos. That's what they're meant for, is just to have fun. Sometimes we just need to escape reality and just have fun. All right, so if you haven't yet, please subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye.